We all know that Gaspar's Grotto, right in the heart of Ybor City, is known for a great place to drink, you know, a local favorite drinking hole. But now you can actually get food, including the famous Sunday Pirate Brunch. We are here with Chef Craig. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for showing us your kitchen and hopefully making us some good food. Definitely. You're welcome. Um, now, you just remodeled this kitchen, correct? Or did you just build it? Um, it's just been built for the past uh, three months ago it opened. Okay, so the pirates have electricity now. Now you can have a kitchen? Yeah, <laughs> something like that. Well, good. What are you going to um, make for us today? Well, today is one of our special dishes, uh, Snapper Mojito, which is a play on the mojito drink. Oh, I like those. Yeah. It's uh, got coconut rum, mint, lime juice, and we use fresh gold snapper as well, local fish. Wow, that is wonderful. So how do we start? Okay, well, uh, first of all, we get a nice hot pan, and we add a touch of olive oil and a couple of knobs of butter. And just melt the butter down, and then the snapper we're using today is American Red Snapper. It's actually caught off the coast of Clearwater Beach, so it's nice and fresh. And we season that with uh, seasoned flour, very lightly, just dusted. And then lay that down in the saute pan. And this takes a couple of minutes just to brown. Okay. And then like I said, then we're going to add some leeks, some fresh mango, the mint. We use lump crab meat coconut rum and some lime juice. So how do you know when it's done or when it's ready to flip over? I usually give it like two or three minutes either side so it's still a little firm. Mm -hmm. um, should always cook fish slightly under so by the time it gets to the table it's just nice and moist, just cooked through. I didn't, I didn't realize that. Yeah, it's, just, it's not a very thick piece of fish so it doesn't take too long. Um, now, is this part of your new menu that she just launched? It is. It's one of the new dishes, and it's going over very, very well, really well. People are loving it. And you guys are open for lunch, dinner, and late night? Yeah, we open at 11. Uh, we do food till 10 o'clock during the week and 12 on the weekends, and we will be doing food later as well once season rolls around. Now, is this dish one of the ones um, that's on the Sunday brunch? No, it's actually on our regular menu. It's not on the Sunday brunch, but we can always offer it if people request it. It's always available. Oh, that's great. And we just flip the fish over. And then when, once it's flipped, we'll add the rest of the ingredients. Which now, we, tell me what these ingredients are uh, again. We're going to add some more butter, some garlic and shallots, fresh mango, fresh leeks, mint, and lump crab meat. And then we also have coconut rum and lime juice. Ooh, that sounds delicious. We're add another knob of butter. And then the garlic and shallots. Just saute those for literally a couple of seconds. At the leeks. The garlic's to help keep uh, away the vampires, right? Yeah. <laughs> Soften the leeks again. It's a quick dish, really quick, just a couple of minutes. Then the mangoes and the mint. Just gives it a really nice fresh flavor. It also makes it very colorful. Yeah, it is. Just for a couple of seconds. Then we add the crab meat. One side. Oh, it's looking good. And then we season it with sea salt and a little black pepper. And then deglaze the pan with some coconut rum, like Malibu's fine. Ooh, look at that. Burn off the alcohol. Can we order it with extra shots of Malibu rum? Sure, on the side. <laughs> and then a couple of drops of fresh lime juice. And then we reduce that down to a thick syrup. And then we'll add a couple more drops of butter and a little splash of heavy cream, and that's finished. And then it'll be time for me to taste yep. it and give you my thoughts. So we'll add some more butter right now. And just slowly melt down the butter, just very gently. That, that helps make the sauce. And a little heavy cream. Plus, I think adding butter to everything just adds a lot of taste. Absolutely, definitely. And then this simmers for literally two minutes. 
Wow, it almost looks like a stew. Similar, I guess. It's very thick, but it's sweet. It's a sweet dish, very sweet. Tell us about some of the other menu items that you added. Um, some of the other menu items, we've got scallops as an appetizer, which are amazing. We serve those with um, black olives, piquillo, red peppers, and a thing called Willie's orange dust, which is orange zest that's dried in the oven, and then we grate it over the scallops, which gives a real nice, fresh, vibrant taste to the dish. Really oh, good. that sounds really yeah, good, we too. We have a tuna rescaviche, which is seared rare, fresh yellowfin tuna that comes on scotch bonnet pickled vegetables which is probably the best-selling appetizer right now. It's amazing. People are loving it. I'm going to put that on my list for after the ribbon cutting uh, outside. Yeah. Uh -huh. And also, we're now doing pizzas. We have a wood fire pizza oven that we're doing a homemade dough, homemade sauce. It's um, They're going down great. So we're going to be heading to the castle after this, so I can go to the castle and then come back for some pizza? Definitely. You're always welcome. Oh, what a great idea. Well, that's, that's about it. That's the dish done. It's... Um, so is it time to eat? It is. I'll put it on a plate. Let's grab a spoon. Bill, is there any spoons over there? No. I'll use this one. Okay, here we have it. Snap on my heat up. So, Craig, um, is this ready to eat? It is. Go ahead. Great. I'm going to dig in. Side, side. Right from the side. Oh, I have to make sure I get some get of this mango. There. Okay, a little crab, garlic. A little mango. Ooh. Mmm. That is sweet and tender. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. And then that garlic finishes it off perfect. Mmm, this is outstanding. So I'm not going to eat too much because we are going to the castle, but we're going to go outside and see what else is going on.